Quirky Sheriff Canine Ranch in beautiful Marshville, North Carolina. Today we have Banksy, um, our golden noodle, and Mr. Reese is going to handle him uh, through our first reintegration exercise. What you're going to see is a right hand box seal. You ready to begin? All right, so we saw uh, basically he's tapped off and he stepped off with his left. He's going to continue forward no matter what. A 90 degree pivot in the turn. Looking good. We put our distraction on the outside. That's whomever's not working with the dog in the corner. Working. Good. And we're just pacing him through no matter what. We continue our forward motion. Our right hand pivot. Our target sound and our praise. Good, good, good. Good. Teaching the dog the left toe line in the beginning of all the pack motion that our model works with. We finish in three, two, one. With a rotation and a reward. Looks good. We're going to slide in. May I? Sure. Everybody's going to handle him. You'll take Bryce's spot. Let's tap off. Heel. Good boy. No matter what, we're going to continue forward. Good boy, good boy, good boy. That's our good dog. Nice pivot. Again, we're working a left hand toe line. Heel. Good boy. And the foundation is some pack motion. Good job. Parallel left. Good. In pace. Let's go. And we're going to finish slowly with the rotation. Three, two, and one. Good dog. He's already ready for us. Good job. I'm going to slide Bryce in. Bryce is going to do the same exact thing. Tapped off, stepped off with the left. Pivot. Praise. Again, we have the distraction in the outside, right? Good. And we measure success. Does the dog's shoulder joints continue to move at the same pace as the feet through the distraction? And it did. With an active handler. Good. So that's lesson one. We need three repetitions. We're going to slide change handlers. Mr. Reese is going to go first. Thank you, Nolly. We're going to move our all of our distraction pieces to the adjacent corner. Let's see, we're going left to left. Good. So here we are. He tapped off, he's moving forward, puts his left toe in the ground, swings the right hip. Good. It's going to work with forging, teaching pace and playing. Love that target signal on the back side. Piece of cake, he's got this, he's breezy for my guy. Nice rotation, he's smiling the whole way. Finish when you're ready. Excellent, so we got pace and plane. All right, you stay there. I step in, I'm gonna get the second repetition. Good. Boy, that's my good boy. Step and turn. Good, that's my sweet boy. So these guys have drilled this guy. We can start to accentuate the leash. Good boy. Use it just like a steering wheel or reins. Good boy. That's a good job. So again, it's going to help us with pace and plane and make sure the dog does not forward. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Target sound overlay. Easy breezy. We can do this in the house, the garage, the backyard. We need 10 days. Three repetitions per pattern. Good boy. Rotate reward. Good. Good job. We're going to new handler. Same model. Stepping off. Good pivot. Good boy. Right now, all we're focused in only on the repetition of. Uh, one and two is teaching the dog where he should be. Good job. Off the command cue heel. Yep. That is Good our foundation. Boy. Our third repetition of the pattern ensures the dog can remember it. Finish when he's ready. Good, Good, Good boy. Good all right, we release the dogs all through and shake out the leash. That indicates that we're at ease and we can stand around, get a butt scratch. All right, so let's move free. 
far with repetition uh, set number three. We call it friends leave heel. In this value, the handler is going to bowl the dog forward to our friend. He's going to get a cookie. He's going to get touch. And then we programmed in a one piece recall. Dog approaches, does the U turn behind the handler, and finishes. Good. Just like that. This is why we do repetitions one and two, is to get to this exercise. Gentlemen, if you will. You got the approach, then the recall. Nice target sound. Good condition behavior. Love it. He's a reward our guy. He's K. Third and final. Good. So he's not only teaching a send away, but we're teaching the dog a recall away from food and touch as well. Ready when you are? Good dog. He's got all the moves. Good boy. All through. Shake it out. Rub that butt. Okay. So here we are, we're working a location stay in number four. He points and snaps, good boy. He goes through a sequence, and we have our dog condition. We lay down so as that we can create separation from him. The key point here is, is he's gonna give a signal. We just use the yellow pedestal. He's gonna give a signal, he's gonna be seated, and another signal. The other relevant value here is, is that when someone splits between you, he knows to give a backside signal. So is that we can hang out with our guy and him understand that when there's new motion and new things that are stimuli, that he's not to get up until Mr. Reese gives him the appropriate signal. Perfect. Good deal. We bring him around, we're gonna get another handler in this set of three. Really big on many, many people using the same model. Look at that dog, good. May I? I take a high collar. Hey, that's my gun. What's up, buddy? You ready? I'm gonna point snap. Good, good, good. Up, up it goes through the place, good boy. We'll go through our sequence. Good, thanks he. Good boy, you wanna help him? Good. That's my good boy. There's my condition behavior. I'm going to give a signal. Good. He's looking over at the girl right now. He's making a business decision. I'm going to tell him no and create imbalance just a little. No. And then I'm going to reinduce and reward. Good job. It's the dog's job to do a little variance in each one so that he can see is what our accountabilities are. Here's my backside signal. My guys are going to give a split. I'm going to communicate, see how that pack motion stimulates his brain. Just going to feed him some info and we're going to split again. With some backside info, good boy. So we're basically teaching that impulse that he has to follow. He's got to acquire the skill set that that's not appropriate, especially when there's direction. So, you can see he wants to. We're going to confirm at least that there's a little bit of a lockout on the stay with an opposition reflex. Pull it forward, getting him to lock out. And then we're going to get out of the second rep and let Mr. Bryce talk to him. Good boy. New handler. Working. You got this. Stay over here real quick. Love the front signal. Condition the word place. Who is it? We can use that word later. Good. Big signal in the back. Great rep. Return and release. All through. 
Good tones all the way through. Good tones. All right. Nalikins. Oh, we have Price is portering him. He's going to hold the guy. And then I'm going to give a pitch. He should come running. And then I'm going to reward him. You ready, sir? You're going to have to unclip that lead in three, two, one. Good boy! So we've conditioned a one piece. Good recall off of the whistle. Good boy. Through. Gonna make a friend. Send him out. Gonna porter it up. What we've done is we've held him back with his shoulders, building a little anticipation. But from here on out, should be able to take the whistle out and then just call him. Maxi! Good boy! That's my boy. Good job, Banksy. Good job, friend. We're going to do our third and final. We always want to do three so he can remember it. We've got the benefit of the porter here. Good job. This time I want you to hold him until the second whistle burst. And let's build up that anticipation. Show it for the camera. How about we do? Three, two, one. Good boy! Good. Good boy. That's how we get him to sprint to us when we call him. Through. Good set. Excellent, gentlemen. Good boy. Let's go. Here we go. Good job. So we're using our skills, basics as leash skills, and what we want to do is make sure the dog is ready to go out into the world so as we can socialize and distract and train them. One of the things that we like to do is teach our dog not to immediately jump into the car, but rather on our direction. Ready? Up, oh, good boy. And then what we do is we close our door and we start working our opposition reflex. We're gonna swing the door open. I'm gonna give a signal and pull the leg gently. Confirming the dog doesn't move forward. And then lock it out. The signal. And then I'm gonna push a little bit of tone to him. Through on the offload. Good boy. Through. Good dog. We'll do two more for a total of three. Good job. I know Banks, he's a good boy. I know Banks, he's a good boy. Alright, here we are. One time. I'm gonna swing it open. No impulses. No. Ooh wee. You never do that. Let's we'll swing it open. Ready? Same thing. No. Ay, ay, ay. You better watch. Listen. Good. Good boy. Good boy. You ready? Up. Good. Good, 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 good. On our direction every time. Insist on that. Then we're going to open the door. Flash the front side signal. Work the reflex. Backside signal, relax. Swing it open again. Good boy. Now I'm going to touch the flues and release him. Ready? Right there on the lips. Through, through, through. Good boy. Excellent, Banksy. Shake out the lead. Let him know he's tethered. That's right. That's my buddy. That's my guy. Last call. Here we go. Number three. So in this set, we've already seen dog does one perfect, dog does one outside with a little variance in repetition too. It's just checking the accountabilities and getting clarity. No sir, no sir, you can wait in the sunshine with me. Good boy, good boy. I'm gonna add that clarity with that margin. Good dog, ready? Up, good boy. So here we go. Swing it open. Front sides. Signal. Then. Hey, sweet boy. What a sweet boy. Look at that sweet boy. Something new. I'm going to talk to him. Hey, look at that pretty dog. He's pretty to have pretty hair. You're so soft. All right, love him up. Good. But the one thing that we will not do is allow him to exit that margin without restraint or the release. Good. 
Good job, Banksy. Good boy. Oh, he's gonna be drama king about unloading. So here we go. Through, 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 through. Good. You can do it. See, he told you you can do it. Good boy. All right, let's go.